Hey YouTube, Logan with Hideaway Homestead here coming to you with a video update on several different things today. I'm going to kind of walk around and talk about uh, several, several things. Um, <laughs> starting off with our peppers are finally coming up for real here. We've got some green leaves showing. Uh, the jalapenos here, you can see a little bit of green. You know, it's not just the stem trying to push through. You can see that they're starting to put on some leaves. So super stoked about that. The tomatoes are doing great down here. Our zucchinis are doing great and our squash. The loofahs have not come up. I only planted two because if you've ever planted loofah, you know that um, you really don't need more than one vine because uh, they, they just put on a ton of loofahs. But uh, anyway, yeah, uh, things are growing great. Things are doing good in here. These, uh, you know, cheap lots have done well. I've done a lot of stuff underneath them. I'm, I'm hoping that I've got them down low enough that they're not going to get too leggy. Uh, you know, but a lot of your stuff, like the tomatoes and the squash and um, zucchini, I should be able to plant them, their stems into the ground some if they are a little leggy. But uh, anytime, even if you've got really good grow lights, you want to have the lights as low to the plants as you possibly can. Now I've got them raised up, some just because uh, I was I came in here to water and gonna be putting everything to bed. We got some little mushrooms in here too, growing in. Uh, I guess it's because I've got all this rabbit manure mixed in with my. Uh, pot and soil well really that's all my pot and soil is because it's a uh, stuff that i had you know in my worm bin which was mostly rabbit poop and leftover rabbit feed and they made this awesome pot and soil and there's some of it you can see that just didn't get completely digested there by the worms but uh, i figure that's why i've got the little mushrooms growing in there but hey it ain't hurting anything so i say let them grow um but yeah you know just Keeping the lights down low, as low as you can get them. I know when I uh, did a lot of stuff in aquariums that it didn't matter how good of a light you got for your aquarium plants, it was never gonna compete with sunlight ever. So having them down low, making sure you do about 12 hours a day of light, that'll be, that, that'll ensure some you know good growth on your plants. But I'm gonna pause right here and let's go take a look at some other stuff. So, while we're walking up here to go see about some of these trees, I wanted to uh, comment on a comment that was left on last video. I asked if there was anything that anybody wanted to see, you know, to make video suggestions. That still stands. Any Anything you've got as far as uh, things you'd like to see or um, things you'd like to make for me to make videos on, considering that I am, I, I have some knowledge about it, I'll be glad to do so. Um, Mrs. Sean, she put, or Miss Sean, she put on, a, um, put a comment down in the last video, uh, some really great ideas for future videos. And, um, those are going to be coming. I'm going to let them be some of my ones that I, you know, really plan out and try to, uh, make, uh, a little more professional, I guess. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, just asking about, you know, what the homesteading goals are for this year and, you know, plans to achieve it and then uh, talk about my systems and the cost of them and, uh, you know, just just stuff like that. So th those will make some great videos, I think. Those are coming in soon. Um, if you didn't get to see my video about when we pollarded and coppiced the willows, uh, you know, go back and check those out. Just recently did these. Got a bunch of cuttings and did a bunch of plantings. Turn the camera around here. And our big old willow tree is down to a stump right now. But you can see, oh, where are you? I believe that's a bud right there. This thing will send up some massive shoots. You can see I've got it really well mulched around here. I will be planting just like I did last year, planting some cherry tomatoes in amongst the trees. We've got... Um, this here was originally going to be like a food forest. The problem is, is I'm really bad about just having so many projects going. This one here has kind of fell by the wayside <laughs> and um, need to get in here and do a lot of cleaning before spring starts. I'm doing, do some mowing and 
mulching, but uh, all the cherries right now are dormant. Let's see if I can get the camera turned. And, uh, but now the plums here, they're just covered in blooms um, and they're, you know, coming out. And I'm really worried. I'm thinking that we're gonna get another uh, kill of all our fruits this year because um, it's happened, you know, last year. And uh, yeah, this plum tree is just full. I've got one apple, but then the rest of the apples are pretty much, uh, pretty much still dormant. I ain't seen nothing come out on them. It's just one. It's a, uh, bu -bu -bu -bu, that's a red delicious. Yeah, because I've got red delicious, yellow delicious, and then Granny Smith. My original idea with that was to take some of the graphs. I was going to graft the red, yellow, and green on it and call it a traffic light. You know, I thought it would be pretty cool to have, uh, you know, red, yellow, and green apples all in the same, on the same tree. But you can see the apples tree here is, uh, this is the one that I mulch really heavily. I wonder if that has something maybe to do with it. And uh, this is also the tree. I don't think I've ever mentioned it on the channel, but I had planted, I think it was some garlic and some peppers. So I had some jalapeno peppers growing up in this tree. And uh, I always joked and told people, I was like, yeah, that's my uh, pepper tree. That's where I picked my peppers. Um, the black willow little hedgerow here is putting on, let me see if I can turn the camera back around. Putting on some growth, you know, I'm gonna let it go this year. I'll uh, pause so y'all don't have to walk with me the whole way. Uh, and we'll go check out some more stuff. As you can see here, amongst the willow cuttings, my chicken has got in here. <laughs> and I'm about to have to block this off permanently because uh, she knows she's not supposed to be in here, but she's gonna get in here because it's good stuff to scratch. But I got all the cuttings in here planted. Um, I dialed back on how many I was gonna plant <coughs> originally. And I still do have enough material to be able to plant probably about 1,500, but I'm not gonna do that. I did some poplars here, some corkscrew willows, some uh, oh, weeping willows, and a bunch of hybrid willows. So let's see if we can't run our little hen out of here. I've gotta come in here in this yard and add some more mulch because uh, I don't want it to be just a mud yard want to get as much carbon going as I possibly can. And, uh, you know, I've just redneck engineered all this old fence here to hold in the ducks so we can get eggs from them. And, you know, you got the pallet coop there. Um, this is all pretty cheap stuff. And I, I know I'm gonna make a video just talking about all the costs and stuff, but just look how big the ducks are. The babies are growing like crazy. They've Got lots of feathers now, and just, you know, they're doing great. Um, I have been, uh, I've gotta come in here and bar this off and plant some stuff. Um, ducks are not nearly as hard on, or well, Muscovies anyway, are not nearly as hard on plants as uh, chickens are. You know, chickens wanna scratch, they'll mess stuff up. I'm gonna try to, have it to where I can bar off some of these areas and plant a little bit at a time and also bring in some mulches, just, you know, something like some, uh, a little bit of char, a little bit of uh, wood shavings, leaves, stuff like that, just to fill in here so that way it's not just a, a mud yard. I don't like mud yards, but I was gonna show y'all that I dug this little area here for them uh, to have somewhat of a pond when it rains and they have actually, sealed this little pond. Um, so ducks can seal a pond. Um, pigs will also seal a pond. And um, that's what I was planning on doing when we got to our property and I started building the ponds, but I may do it with the ducks now. And I think it really has something to do with the way they use their bills. They'll compact clay. And then as they compact it, also any kind of cracks and stuff, their, their poop almost acts as a glue. Now this is just a mud hole right now. This is not what we want. Um, every time I change out their water, um, which it stays pretty dirty, it's only about 10 minutes before they dirty it back up and it needs to, you know, be changed again. But uh, as I dump, you know, get rid of it, I just dump it out and 
Um, there's a lot of times that, uh, you know, it's, it's the craziest things. Animals can sometimes be weird. They'll, you'll give them a, a fresh uh, <laughs> watering trough and then all they'll want to do is get in the mud hole. So, um, but yeah, uh, ducks are probably going to be our main source of sealing ponds. And this is not I ideally any size you would want for ducks. Um, really way bigger than this, especially for large numbers. We have we have some goals to have some really large numbers. So stuff like that's gotta change, gotta get the carbon in here. And that's what's happening is the wind's blowing that over. So I'm gonna have to set something in here heavy so that way the hen don't get in. But uh, let's take a pause here and go uh, go look at some more stuff. So it's been a while since we've said hey to Romeo Burrito. So I figured we'd come up here and see how he's doing. He's a he's a good little feller. He's a, not as tame as he used to be because I don't touch him that much. But um, I've got to start playing with him a little bit more because he's going to be uh, a somewhat of a star. He's going to be in some uh, Easter pictures. So uh, got to start playing with him some more. He's a He's just a little shy more than anything. I've noticed that it seems like with all my does, you know, the majority of them turn out to be mean, but the bucks are always the sweetest. So uh, him and a couple other bucks will probably be part of a photo shoot. But there he is. He's growing well. Things are going well with him. He's uh, getting to the point to where, um, you know, he won't be doing a whole lot of really fast growing. He, it's, it started to slow down he'll get to his full weight you know i think probably in maybe three months if i'm even counting right but uh let's uh go have a look at some more stuff all right so we've got some of our logs here that are going to be for inoculating at the workshop and uh i got some bags of char there that i've got to process but then also we've got our willow logs these are from a black willow, and I'm gonna try inoculating them with some mushrooms, probably some oysters or something like that. But then these here are the sweet gums, and these are the ones that we're uh, gonna be inoculating, and uh, we're also selling them at the workshop as well. We're doing um, some Italian oysters, but uh, get the camera. <clears throat> this video has been extra long and extra rambly, you know, just showing y'all a little bit of everything that's going on right now uh spring is coming it really cooled off today it started out this morning extremely warm and then cooled off real quick so uh we've got a little bit of a cold front coming in but we're gonna get some more rain and uh you know things are things are starting to come into bloom here i've got to get the compost pile going um here i'm gonna do some fast compost for the garden just because uh, one of the things that I will mention that we do have as a goal is we wanted to grow some more vegetables and stuff this year and have more of a garden. Even though it's kind of uh, one of those things that's not that important, you know, you can't always uh, live your life for the future. We're really trying to get onto the nine acre property. And, uh, you know, I'm working on building the house out there. Um, and when I say building the house, I haven't talked about it too much on the channel, but uh, it's, uh you know all from scratch i mean i milled all the lumber and have put up some of the logs and and posts and stuff it's a you know big big timber frame project so uh getting that done is the main priority but then at the same time you know we we want to continue with our meat and uh vegetable production just to be able to supplement that some and so uh you know, got got to got to try to do everything at, at once, but still stay focused and still still keep on track because uh, it, it can be hard sometimes, uh, especially uh, when there's so much to do and there's so many projects you do want to get started. But that that's one thing um, if you can help it, try to you know start one at a time. Um, you can't always, but the more you can, the better off you'll you'll be. So. Uh, anyway, that's pretty much it for this video. Um, ran kind of long. Um, just going around kind of giving a little bit of updates on stuff. And uh, so if you liked the video, please leave a like. If you stuck around this long, thank you. <laughs> and uh, 
Um, if you've got any suggestions for future videos, please leave those down in the comment section. I'm going to be getting a list of those and um, trying to pump out some uh, some good content. Uh, if you haven't subscribed or subscribed to the channel already, go ahead and do so. I drop a video like this mostly every day. I appreciate all y'all watching and we'll see you in the next one.